so uptight, yeah. Just can't sleep at night. Stuck it right in my back now Baseline. My first instinct is to do this. Wanna play it? I'm gonna try and hit all of it, right? And so I was like, no man, you know, it's not getting the groove, it's not happening. <laughs> and so what I had to do was just like think about just building the shed, you know, and just keep it, like, cut my bass drum notes in half and just let the bass move it forward. Because it's actually counterproductive. If I try and cut all the notes that he's playing, it's less effective. Blues. I want a big, I want a big, fat, round, nasty tone. It sounds nasty on its own, but sounds great in the band, like a real supportive, fat, round bass tone. Um, but I can, you know, really provide support in all the band. So that's what a P bass does for me. Um, I don't, I can't quite get that sound out of a jazz bass, but I've got one and I really like it. It's the kind of P bass that I like playing, kind of blues and playing rock and playing rootsy kind of music. It's ugly. It's nasty. It's like if you imagine that the, the P bass is like the salty old sailor down at the sea docks, right? And the jazz bass is an estate agent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you want, to, you want to get you want to get broiling, you need a, you need a P bass. complex it's never really that complex you know the only complex things about it are the arrangements that we put in the basic kind of blues thing is, is a really simple thing yeah. and I think it gets it does it, it definitely gets easier as time goes on because you kind of you kind of it's that's something that you can do by experience right hearing whether things are, are dark enough or whether things are too bright you know that, that kind of that kind of that kind of thing and you get your you know as you become a, a better known kind of musician on the scene, you get to play with a lot of different people on that scene, you learn all the tricks of the trade, you know. I said, what you got? 
Obviously, your margin of error is just quadrupled. <laughs> so if we're like, Convincing slow blues is one of the most difficult things that you can that you can do. Convincing, right? It's quite easy to play it badly, but for me anyway, it's much more difficult for me to play a slow blues and keep it nice and in the pocket than to play those tricky songs that we were playing earlier with all the notes in. I've really got to kind of focus, I've really got to concentrate on what everybody's doing and make sure that I'm kind of sitting and fitting right nicely with the kick drum, you know. And I'm really listening all the time.